With our simple tools, we are forced to negotiate with the anatomy of the pig. You can see they start perpendicular here, but then they lean. And so I'm gonna start right up against the top of it, draw my knife all the way down, nice drawing strokes, and you'll get a smoother cut if you avoid the sawing motion in general. It's all long drawing strokes. I like to fry them with this luxurious back fat down first because they're thick enough to stand on end. And that will render all of the grease, all of the fat that you need in the pan to finish the chop. And so low moderate heat for, you know, a chop this size, maybe just about 10 minutes or so. And then you just knock it over. And that oil will be very hot by the time you do. And it'll brown that side nicely and then flip it over to the other side. Because, you know, if there's one thing in this line of work, harvesting animals, raising animals that uh, I have learned in the years, it's that you, you don't know something until you do it. You kind of need to do it. Even if the opinions against it are, carry some authority. And if they are absolute and universal, it's like, well, there's a lot of variables. It's a lot of factors. There's too many details in concrete life to, um, you know, lay down too many universal laws. So it's uh, the best school is experience. You just got to do it. You may discover something you did not know existed. That has pretty much uh, flavored and affected everything I do from the beginning. You know, just the mere fact of treating cured meat as preserved meat and hanging it in room temperatures. You know, utterly anathematized from a lot of very authoritative sources. Uh, but they're also, I, I've, I, had I listened to them, I would not cure bacon the way that I do and hang prosciutto for three years. Where is it? There it is. Um, or hang bacon for several months in June, right? And then eat it raw, no problem. I would not have done that had I heeded uh, the draconian warnings in the American Make cookbooks. But having figured it out and done it, I realized not only is it possible, but uh, it is ridiculously more delicious than it ought to be. It delivers way more than it promises. It's so simple. This is one thing that just characterizes all of this basic simple home processing endeavor uh, is that the input is so simple the complexity of the f results the delicious flavors the depth of uh, of flavor is way more than should be possible you know th that prosciutto tastes way better than it should considering it's just pork and salt that's all it is and three years um, it tastes way better than it ought and um, you don't know that unless you kind of, you just got to go for it. You got to try it. You got to trust your sensibility um, and uh, determine to be discerning and sensible about it and receptive to the cues you're getting from the livestock, from the cured meat, whatever it may be. And if you do that, you will discover things because that's really what a universal rule is uh, in some cases. It is by nature the exclusion of certain details, right? Because there's just so many variables. And when, when you go into it, you discover those things that were excluded from the narrative previously. And they can be life altering. They can be the key. Because your context and your scale is totally different than that in which the rules were made. Do it to understand it. And that is, that is one of the rules of life. Uh, it's tricky. And I think it's an unfortunate trick of particularly college university education is that you have to understand something before you can do it. That doesn't, that doesn't work. You don't understand something until you do it at all. Um, so, yeah, don't do that. That's a tricky thing. And I think I, I got to work for my parents who were both entrepreneurial all growing up. And uh, so I, I got to learn pretty easy, pretty quickly, pretty early that uh, 
in the world of a small business, a family business, you got to do stuff before you know how to do stuff. And you got to make it work regardless of knowing how to do it. And uh, you suddenly discover that, oh, this is actually a pattern in life that if I go for it, I can figure it out as I go. Therefore, I will go for it with greater frequency. And uh, you will discover what you can do before you know you can do it. <laughs>